Welcome back to Inside the Box, where we talk about ways that you can make money with the skills and tools you already have, the things that are inside your box. I talk a lot about reselling on eBay, and today I want to share a few other reselling options for you, because I know a lot of you are eBay resellers that watch my channel, and I've been sticking to that platform for a while now, and haven't really ventured away from it until just recently. And I've been trying a few new things that have actually helped me a lot in the stage of life that I'm at. So I wanna make this video a little more personal and share with you more about what I'm going through right now in my life to hopefully help you realize how manageable this is. And if any of you are going through the same thing, you know, we can kind of help each other think of creative ways to kind of branch out from eBay and make money with the circumstances that we're in right now. Before we get into it, I want to say thank you. One of you sweet, wonderful people left me a comment that said I should film in my staircase when things are looking up because the stairs are going up. And I really liked that. Today I'm wanting to be more positive, so I'm filming in my staircase because things are looking up for me. And I, and I want to show you guys real quick. Just, okay, this is me being a little more personal with you. I've got a kitchen chair here and a diaper box, and I'm filming on an iPad mini that's years old it's a pretty old one i need to upgrade my camera but i want to share that with you because if any of you are thinking of starting a youtube channel you really don't need anything fancy to begin and i i've been enjoying this youtube adventure and if you guys want to hear more about that let me know in the comments below but I, I did just want to share that with you to let you guys know. I know a lot of you have YouTube channels and I love watching them. I love hearing and seeing your growth and watching your subscriber rates go up. So if any of you are like on the fence about starting, just know you can start with a kitchen chair and a diaper box and something easy to film with and your staircase. And it could open up a lot of opportunities for you to grow your reselling business or to grow anything you want to on YouTube. So to explain to you the new things I'm trying with reselling, I need to explain to you the problems that I was running into this last month or so. So the beginning of February, where I'm living, we had a lot of snow. And because of this, I was not able to go thrifting. In January, I was getting into the habit of going to the thrift store once a week, and it was helping out my reselling hobby greatly. I was seeing a lot of improvements. It was helping expand my knowledge of different items and what sells well, and it was helping me reach my listing goals. And as I sourced more and listed more, I sold more on eBay. So in February, we had a lot of snow, and I was not able to go to the store once a week to go thrifting and so my inventory was kind of dying and I wasn't able to list it. and it was hurting my eBay game and that's when I started looking at different ways to source. So the first thing I tried that was different with reselling was sourcing online and I got a thread up box. So go check out that video if you haven't yet. I do an unboxing of it and I want to share in a future video what has been selling from that box because I've been selling a lot of items out of that box that I've been really excited about. So that kind of fixed that problem of not being able to go to the thrift store. So that thread up box helped me get through that snowstorm with those couple weeks that I couldn't go thrifting. It helped me list things on eBay and keep the activity there alive and I was still making a few sales every other day or so and I was growing and I was getting closer to reaching my goals. So sourcing online was a great option for me when I couldn't go thrifting. And I know a lot of you might be in that boat, whether it's weather related or health related or just the lack of availability of thrift stores in your area, sourcing online is a great way to find inventory. The downsides of sourcing online is it's a bit time consuming and you also have to wait for the items to show up and you're not there to examine them yourself. Oftentimes you're buying mystery boxes or things like that that you have no idea if you're able to resell them. So it's, it's a little risky that way, I think. And you're usually paying a little bit more upfront than you would be at a thrift store, but it still is super manageable and I've had success with it so far. So the weather started getting warmer towards the end of February and the snow was melting, but my thrifting game was not speeding up. It was staying the same. I wasn't going thrifting and there are two reasons for that. One of them is a really exciting one. This is really hard to show on the stairs. <laughs> Thrifting can take a lot of energy and right now I have not been wanting to be on my feet. And let's just say reselling has not been at the forefront of my mind. I have been busy thinking of more important things. And I know some of you might be in that stage of life right now. I believe your family comes first. And that is what I love about 
reselling. So this is another thing that I've done differently with eBay because I really do want to put my family first and I, that's why I got into reselling because it was a job that I could say, no, I need time off right now. I didn't have to answer to anyone. Like it's something that I could do for myself. And if I need a break, I can take a break. So that's another thing I've been experimenting with with eBay this month is I've been putting it on time away mode because if I go into labor and I'm in the hospital for three days, I'm not going to be able to ship packages. So what I've done is I've selected the option to allow people to still buy from me so that I can still make sales during this time, but now I'm not in a rush to ship them. So my customers see that I'm away and they buy an item from me, but the shipping date is just pushed out. And now I am still home, so if I see someone buy something, I can still ship it off. But now I have that comfort of knowing if I'm in the hospital, I don't have to worry about eBay. So I did want to share that because maybe some of you are in that boat and it is hard to be a reseller with young children. <laughs> it's really difficult and it's hard not to compare yourself to other people because these people that are growing so fast, they have the time and the attention to spend on reselling. That is something I don't have a lot of right now in my current life setting and that is fine. I started eBay in 2019. It's still not the business I want it to be and I just wanted to share that with you because there are more important things in life than reselling. There really are and I want you to not compare yourself to other people because I've gone down that road and it's been discouraging and it's like, will eBay ever work? Like, is this even real? Like, does it really work for people? Does reselling really turn into a business for people? I think it really can. I really do. And some people are just at a different pace and it's okay to be at a different pace. Now, the other thing that has become a roadblock for me in growing my inventory as we are moving again and last year that was something we were planning on and so I wasn't sourcing for months because I was trying to get rid of my inventory so that's one of the reasons I started eBay in 2019 it was growing and growing and growing and we decided that we we're going to move early of 2020 and so I stopped sourcing and I was just getting rid of all my eBay inventory because I did not want to move with it and then 2020 happened we moved and a lot of the thrift stores were closed for a long time so i was not able to grow that inventory and i finally have been able to start growing again on ebay and we've decided that it's time to move again and i want to know your opinions or thoughts in the comments below if you're moving would you continue to source and grow your ebay inventory or would you start to downsize it stop sourcing and just sell what you can so you don't have to move with it now if i choose to stop completely stop sourcing and stop growing it just is putting ebay on pause for me i'm not going to reach my eventual business goals as fast as i want to with it so i i want to know what you would do would you stop sourcing or would you just keep going and move with all this inventory if you had to so so this is the decision that i've been at and because of this i started looking at ways to get rid of my inventory faster and I've been hearing about cross-listing and cross-posting and I just haven't tried it yet. But recently I found out that Facebook Marketplace allows you to ship items. I didn't know that this was an option available for me. I've sold things on Facebook before for local pickup and I really didn't like doing that. I've made some videos in the, in the past about comparing Facebook and eBay and why I didn't like Facebook is because of it was just local pickup. I really like the shipping aspect of eBay. I don't like scheduling times to meet up with strangers to make sales. I never liked the local pickup aspect of Facebook. <laughs> so when I discovered I could sell things on Facebook and ship them, I started cross-listing my items from eBay to Facebook. And sometimes it can take me like 15 minutes to list my item on eBay. And it takes like four minutes on Facebook. It is so easy, especially if you're cross-listing going from eBay to Facebook. And so this last month I tried that because I needed to make sales. Because I was not sourcing, I was not listing on eBay. And because I was not listing on eBay, my sales were slowing down. And so I needed a way for my sales to pick back up to reach my goals. So I started cross-listing to Facebook and things did start selling for me on Facebook. So I would take them off eBay real quick and I'm really glad that I did that because I made more of a profit this last month than I would have if I only had been selling on eBay. 
I haven't tried cross-listing to other platforms. I've thought about trying Macari or Poshmark. I'm just not that confident in clothing yet and that's where Poshmark is just not a good platform for me to try and cross-list onto yet. But Macari might be able to work, but Facebook was pretty easy for the stuff that I had been trying to sell. And what I did is I listed things that were sitting in eBay for forever for me and some of them were actually selling really quickly on Facebook, so that was nice to see. There, there are some cons to Facebook still. There's not a great customer service base. If you have to delete an item, there's no like relist button that I know of yet. I did find out recently from another YouTuber how to check comps on Facebook. But cross-listing has helped me maintain sales even though I'm not able to list on eBay right now because I'm not sourcing more because I'm getting ready to move and I'm wanting to get rid of my inventory faster, that's been a great way for me to source these sales. Now, I love watching other YouTubers and I watch Harry Tornado a lot and I'm sure a lot of you do too. And he recently did a playlist about how to grow a business from zero dollars. And in that playlist, he like goes around and he looks on the curbside for things that are free and he flips them and he takes them to some consignment stores to flip things. I think there's like a sporting consignment store he goes to to flip some items. And this got me thinking, what are the consignment stores in my area? I knew about one of them and it, it wasn't one I wanted to do business with, but I did a quick Google search about consignment stores near me and I found a couple that paid cash up front. It's a lower percentage on your items that they're paid like 20 to 30% of what they think the item will sell for, but it's super fast flips. So I can go on Facebook Marketplace and look for free curbside pickups for certain items that the store takes and I can pick them up, take them to that store and make easy cash without having to take the time to list, or more importantly for me right now, store the inventory. So this is a way I can keep reselling and making some cash without having to pack a whole bunch of inventory with me when I move, is not just by flipping things that I find for free or really low cost on Facebook at these consignment stores. And I'm excited for yard sales to start because I can do the same process of flipping this. So if you have not yet, make sure you're looking at the consignment stores in your area because maybe there's items that aren't worth your time to list on eBay or other platforms or you don't want to store them, but you're still able to make quick cash by flipping them with these consignment stores. Now, you're going to probably make more money if you sold the item yourself. But if you're in a life situation like me where you're not wanting to store inventory, it's a nice option to still make some extra cash. So those are the new things I've been trying with reselling. First was to source online when I couldn't get to the thrift store. The second thing was to put my store on time away when life was just getting busy and I needed to put other things first. The third was to try cross-listing on another platform. And the fourth thing was to try flipping things at consignment stores and also sourcing and kind of a bonus sourcing more from Facebook marketplace and yard sales than thrift stores. And I've also been able to take things from my own house to this consignment store, which has helped me downsize a little bit before this move. So I'm really loving this option. So now that I've shared a little bit of my life with you, you might be understanding why I have not been able to get two videos up a week. I will keep trying to do that, but if my YouTube game kind of takes a break for a couple weeks, there's a really good reason. But I hope to do a what sold video soon covering February and March and catch you guys up on what's been selling from that thread up box. And I also wanna share where I'm at with my profit goals and growing eBay. And if you've been following my how to rewards program videos, there's a few more websites and things that I've found that I wanna share with you guys too. So stay tuned for all that by hitting that subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video.